Hi, welcome to Left Foot Media. My name is Brendan Malone. Well, as you can tell from the background behind me, I'm not in my usual home studio. Uh, and so you're probably going to notice that the audio is going to be not quite as good as it usually is. There's a bit more echo in this room and you might hear a few more uh, outside noises that you wouldn't hear. And also the lighting's not going to be up to the same usual standard. Apologies for that. But putting that aside, I have watched the brand new teaser for the new Han Solo standalone film, as I'm sure probably most of you have now as well. And people have been asking me, what are your thoughts? What do you think? Well, if I'm honest, I look at the trailer and um, I see a new Star Wars movie about Han Solo. Uh, I <laughs> There's things in there that definitely pique my interest, but there are things in there as well that for me have little alarm bells ringing. Uh, the one or two major Han Solo lines that are presented to us in this trailer it's not so much that they don't just feel good, as in they don't feel like uh, Han Solo lines. Uh, they don't feel like great acting. And this is something that we heard about and we've heard about for weeks and weeks and months now is that the acting has not been up to spec in the lead role on this film. And uh, looking at this trailer, I do wonder whether or not that's actually quite a true claim that people have been making. Now, to be fair though, this is just a trailer, and so it's quite conceivable that they've chopped things totally out of context. They, they do this all the time when making trailers. You, you take one line totally out of a scene, uh, you often even put it in a different place to where it appears in the movie, and so you don't quite get that same continuity and context, and it can feel uh, quite different when you're looking at it in a trailer. And it might be that when you watch it in the film, uh, that all of a sudden it's very, very different. And it's like, oh, what was I worried about? That was actually quite good. But what I see here doesn't make me confident. The other thing is clearly there is a Marvel formula that is now being applied to Disney films. Uh, we saw this quite clearly with The Last Jedi. The humor is just lifted straight out of the Marvel formula that they put into The Last Jedi. It doesn't work in Star Wars. It might work in this standalone film because of the nature of who Han Solo is as a character. But I'm still not convinced that Disney actually understands the Star Wars property uh, as well as it should, or is not giving it the respect that it could be. And instead what we are seeing is a, a big corporation that is taking a formula that has worked for them elsewhere, the Marvel formula, and they are now sort of just trying to apply it, to shoehorn it into a completely brand new property that they now own, thinking that if we make our things with this particular formula, it doesn't really matter who the characters are and what the property is, because it's the formula people are into. And I'm not convinced that that's valid at all. Particularly if you look at something like The Last Jedi, I don't, I don't think, like for example, the humour, which would be quite at home in a Marvel film, doesn't really work there. Now you see some of that formula, particularly the introduction to this trailer. You go back and watch some of those Thor Ragnarok trailers and teasers and you will see what I mean. There is definitely a bit of continuity here between the style and the way they are presenting these films. You can definitely see the sort of Guardians of the Galaxy type elements as well here. And like I said, that might be okay because of the nature of what uh, and who the character of Han Solo is. I'm still not convinced that we need a standalone Han Solo movie. Uh, I'm not convinced that this is going to bring anything of any value. To, to me, it seems like this is nothing more than a nostalgic cash grab. They want us to buy tickets based on nostalgia. Now, it might be that this is actually a really good movie, and in that case, it's fine. Nostalgia serves its purpose. It gets us in the door, and we have a really good fun ride in a well-told, well-written story. And that's possible, because Lawrence Kasdan is writing the script for this. So he's no slouch. This guy is a good writer. And so it's quite conceivable that the nostalgia just becomes a, a trick, if you like, a, a sleight of hand to get us into the theatre and it's going to be a really, really enjoyable and good film. And that's fine. But there's also a very real risk that, that they are just trading in on the nostalgia. And if that happens, then this isn't going to be a particularly good film and it's not going to add anything at all. Effectively, this is yet another way of Disney trying to sell tickets and make money. That's sort of, and it is their primary focus as a studio. It's, it's the nature of the beast, unfortunately, at the moment. The art comes second to the fiscal concerns. How much money can we make? How much stuff can we shoehorn into this film? And by the way, 
this film, this solo film, really does, I think, challenge uh, those people who are claiming, well, Disney's taking Star Wars in a new and different direction, and, and that's why you didn't like The Last Jedi. It's because it's going in this new, different, and unique kind of direction. Well, really? They are just about to release a movie that is literally going right back before the previous trilogy. It's delving right back into the very heart of what Star Wars is. So I'm not convinced at all uh, that Disney is looking to take things in a new direction. I think Disney's prime concern is not really the direction they take things, but it's about whether or not they can make money off the product that they are producing. For them, this is about making a product that sells tickets. Um, look, it could be a really good movie, and, and I would say to anyone who's prejudging the film, whether you're saying, this is going to be amazing because of what I've seen in this teaser, or this is going to be terrible because of what, I've, of what I've seen in this teaser, that's not fair. You, you can't judge a book by its cover. You can't judge a movie by its trailer. You've actually got to go and watch the film, and I will do that. I will go and watch the film, and I will give it the time of day to see whether or not this is actually a well-written story, whether it's a good and enjoyable and entertaining film, or whether it was something that really probably shouldn't have been made and, and didn't really need to be made. Now one of the big litmus tests for me that I always apply in this kind of situation is take the trailer and imagine for just a second that you didn't know anything about Star Wars, that this is the first time you had been introduced to this concept of Star Wars. Uh, it wasn't a known property, the other movies didn't exist, this was the first movie uh, in the entire property that had ever been made, and then go back and reevaluate the trailer based on that as your starting point. And when you look at the solo trailer, do you really see anything in this trailer that stands out to you and says, hey, this looks like it could be an interesting movie worth watching? And when you watch this trailer uh, in that light, there isn't really anything that stands out particularly strongly. What stands out in this trailer for us is the nostalgia. Oh, there's Chewie, there's Han Solo, there's the Millennium Falcon, etc., 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 and that's what they're banking on. But once that nostalgia is taken out of the picture, and you pretend that it's not a real thing, and watch this trailer again, does this really look like anything other than just another sort of generic action superhero fantasy film set in space? And I'd have to say this trailer doesn't do anything to make me think, wow, there's going to be something a bit unique and different here, or there is something special going on here. It just feels like another movie that's come off the production line. Like I said, I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that this film actually turns out to be something good. Because, f for, particularly for the sake of the Star Wars franchise, they can't keep producing films that don't deliver. So The Last Jedi, it didn't deliver. Despite what the fanboys who are still salivating over this film are trying to claim, it didn't deliver. There's problems, objective flaws in the film. It didn't deliver. It's not a good Star Wars film. And it really has brought things to a grinding halt. Now, they can recover. It's going to be hard, but they can recover. But if the, the new Han Solo film doesn't deliver either, now they're really starting to circle the abyss. And uh, they're really going to have to start asking some hard questions about the strategy of trying to saturate the market. And I think that's one of the problems is they've saturated the market with Star Wars movies. And I'm not sure that that is a winning formula at all. I think what they should have done was given themselves a solid break, maybe two years between each movie. Build up anticipation. Give yourself time to actually create good solid stories and then put those into film and release those instead of jamming out a film every year purely to try and make money. The whole idea I guess they're going for here is that they're just going to keep this constant excitement and buzz alive but that's not how human nature works and it's not really how the market works either. Once you get saturated with a product, you know, supply and demand and if there's plenty of supply there's no demand. And once you get saturated with something, the magic starts to go as well. And also what happens is you do start to get shoddy filmmaking. And there's no doubt that on the making of this film, based on what's happened on this film and uh, in the lead up to uh, its eventual release date, this film has definitely been troubled. And I think a big part of the problem here is this just this drive, this the sort of almost unthinking drive to just punch out as many Star Wars related movies and, and then the accompanying merchandise that goes along with it that we can. And, and I think it's actually weakening the franchise and ultimately it is doing harm to the concept of good st storytelling which really should be at the forefront and was at the forefront of the original trilogy. It was about the story 
and the characters and, and all those sort of uh, mythical themes that it touched on that really resonated with us. Now, hopefully, Solo might you know, br bring a ray of light to uh, a bit of a bleak and dark uh, environment at the moment for Disney and the Star Wars franchise. Who knows? As per usual, I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are there other things that maybe you picked up on about the trailer? What do you think about it? Have you seen it? What do you think of the trailer? If you like the content I'm producing, then please support me on Patreon. There's a link in the description below, and there's a link on screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Left Foot Media. Oh, and by the way, yes, I did wear my Han Solo shirt in honor of today's video. See you next time on Left Foot Media.